just because it's called a mobile phone, it doesn't automatically give you the right to use them while you're in your automobile. Boom, boom. The main character just got out of a long-term relationship, but there's no hard feelings or nothing like that. Him and his baby mama are still on speaking terms, so she lets him plan a trip with his baby mama babies. And on the day of the trip, his vehicle breaks down and it causes him to be tardy. When he finally gets to his ex's new boyfriend's house, you get an awkward moment where the main dude looks like he's being photoshopped out of his own family. Meanwhile, there's a know-it-all scientist guy, and it's not really what he knows that's important, but mainly who. The scientist guy knows a scientist guy that discovers a way to predict a natural disaster. Their research shows the world is heading towards a disaster disaster of biblical proportions. At first, the scientist guy's like, for real? And then his assistant's like, we checked, we double checked. Then we reset all the instruments and triple checked. I triple checked, my friend. So yeah, they're pretty sure. Then an earthquake hits California. The city's all apocalyptic and the streets are all jacked up and stuff. The type of streets you would never play step on a crack break your mama's back on. The main dude's kid or kids gets into the back of a black Lincoln and try to outrun mother nature. It's a good thing the mom is attracted to pilots because her ex gets a red and white plane for no money down and one of her side pieces ends up flying them to safety. You learn a lot about people when their lives flash before their eyes. The lady starts thinking maybe her marriage wasn't as bad as she remembers when she sees her ex bravery throughout the rest of the movie's runtime. As for the new guy he loses a bunch of cool points because he has this whole save yourself attitude and there's a scene where he tries to leave behind his girlfriend's loved one to save himself so when the lady has to pick between the new and old guy it's an easy decision not because the new guy's a coward or anything like that but because the new guy dies to death the pilot says they're running out of land to land the plane and running out of gas too after that the good guys jump out the plane to take their chances on the ground people are walking in the streets with disaster relief and it looks like everything is going to be okay to the naked eye but everybody knows natural disasters in movies are attracted to tourist attractions same thing happens here when they get a category 9 point something earthquake. The category 9 earthquake causes a tsunami and a lot of people are killed when the tsunami body slams a ship on top of them. The main characters get on a boat and are able to survive the wave. Later on when the stakes get higher and higher, one of the smaller characters gets a lag injury and becomes a liability. And talk about bad timing, because the whole place is flooding and they could sure use this help now more than ever. That one chick is trapped in that one room where all the water is rising to the roof and she's running out of air. The main guy has to play the hero role and dives into the water to save everyone inside. And if you smell a la 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 what the rock is cooking, underwater I mean, you're probably not holding your breath the right way. Then everything is falling on the roof of the boat, but the driver keeps their foot on the gas and everybody makes it out okay. The family gets back together and the parents are in love again. And at the end, although tons of people die, humans are still on top of the food chain and everything the light touches is our kingdom. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>